Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have a little subscription box mashup where I have three boxes from January that were sent to me for review, but I didn't get them towards the last half of the month, so I didn't get around to them in January, but I definitely think that they are worth checking out. I will leave any referral codes or affiliate links that I happen to have in the description box below. And if possible, if I have a minute, I will try to leave some timestamps if you wanna hop around, but of course I definitely appreciate if you are able to watch the video in its entirety. So let's get started with Anchor of Hope Box, which I just think is a lovely concept. I've been opening this box here on my channel probably since I first started out, so almost three and a half years now. This box always sends you three lovely items made from artisans around the world, and often they are survivors of human trafficking or artisans that are just trying to make a living wage for their family. The box is $36 per month plus $6 in shipping, but they still have an awesome deal where you can get a three month subscription for $99 plus that shipping. And I do have a code for you that will work on subscriptions as well as site wide in their lovely online boutique. And that is Noel 10 that will save you 10%. So inside, of course, we have the little paper that always tells us about who they are and what they do. I usually read one of those paragraphs, but since we are trying to get through a few boxes today, I will skip that. They also include a nice little product sheet that tells us about the items, where they are made and by whom, if that is pertinent. And I'm very very excited to share with you these items. Now I did actually get their December box as well, which was lovely, but my bath salts had kind of exploded all over the place. You guys know how my mail carriers are with my boxes. Wait until you see one of the boxes that I have to share with you today. So I skipped that one and I'm happy to get to share this January one with you. They do spoilers over on their Instagram. They also show us the lovely folks that are working at packing the boxes or making some of the items. And I just love those videos. So the first thing I see in here are these beautiful Beautiful salt and pepper shakers. I like this sort of rustic bow they included. And of course, you guys know I love any natural grain wood, especially when it really goes from light to dark. So for me, the three hold one would be the salt and the two hold one would be the pepper. But I just think these are really, really pretty. See if I can slide this bow off. These are crafted in Indonesia, so it does have the nice little um, plastic stoppers on the bottom so you can easily put your spices in there. They have a really nice feel to them and I just love how modern looking they are. It says, these classy salt and pepper shakers are made from sustainable sour wood. It is carved, sanded, and stained and crafted into the beautiful items you have in your hands. Talented craftsmen in Indonesia have been perfecting their craft for years and through their partnership with Serve International are able to receive consistent and fair trade work to support their family and invest in their communities. So I realized that I had that one upside down, but I just really love that. It's so pretty, you guys. Isn't that lovely? So that was a great item to start with. The next one, they really did a good job of kind of balancing this box out. We have a little self-care item and it came in this cute little bag. So there's some extra tissue paper that I had to get out of the way first. This is crafted in the USA, but it is supporting the Moana villages in Congo. So they gave us a nice little plastic spoon. Now, normally I like a sheet mask or or a mask that's already pre-mixed for me just for ease. This is from Plant Based Beauty though, which is a great brand. It's one ounce, it's avocado and algae. Uh, so you can see it's just a loose powder. So you do have to add some moisture. I know some people like to add honey, water, yogurt, all kinds of different things that you could add. Just some nice micellar water, I suppose as well. But it says instantly notice soft and clean skin from the nourishing superfoods of avocado, spirulina and moringa that give your skin the vitamin it needs. Plant Based Beauty is a women owned company Company that uses all vegan and organic ingredients it says but the best thing about this face mask is that through their partnership with anchor of hope box this month 30% of our purchase of the face mask was donated directly to Moana village it says a holistic orphan prevention and orphan care organization that is leading the way in ethical orphan care you guys I absolutely love that as someone who was adopted from another country I just think that is such a special cause and it's another one of the reasons that I love this box so much and think it is a great one to support and a great one to gift to someone else as well. Now, this item is one that was one of the spoilers over on Instagram, and I was really excited uh, to share this with you. It's kind of a two-parter, so it's kind of like we got four items this time around. 
Uh, this I just thought was so cool and again very modern and I love when uh, we get artisan made items that kind of have a little bit of like an ethnic vibe but also just very contemporary and that is this really neat candle stick holder. Isn't that cool you guys? So I believe it's made out of uh, ceramic. It's like ter that classic terracotta color. I just think it's so so cool and just like really goes with a lot of like modern aesthetics even the color of it. So this is actually crafted in Guatemala. It says the wavy mini candle holder was made from riverbed clay of the Chenatia area of Guatemala. It says each piece is hand sculpted by an incredible group of women that Upavim partners with. It says the hand dipped candles, which I'm pulling out, are made by the Quechua people of Guatemalan, of the Guatemalan cloud forest using natural myrtle wax. So we also got, with another rustic bow, some candles to go in there. It says Upavim partners with their artisans and families holistically and invests in continued artisan training, community building, and education. And what lovely colors. So we got this really pretty almost violet, a blue, and a red. And then they're ni these nice skinny taper candles. I don't know if I can easily pull one out because I don't want to scratch it up too much. But then it's going to fit perfectly into this little candle holder, which I just think is so, so cool. I, I really love this month's box. I thought it was very, very well balanced. And all three of the items are beautiful. Every once in a while, they'll be like, you know, an edible item or something where I'm like, that's like not a great value or not necessarily something that I would pick out for myself. But this month, January, I know it's February, Anchor of Hope box really like rocked my socks. I thought that was a lovely, lovely box. So I'm very much looking forward to what they have for February. All right, you guys, let's move over to a jewelry subscription. It is Mint Mongoose, which usually comes, like I said, towards the second half of the month, comes in this lovely little envelope, usually with a little Werther's Original treat inside. I found mine. I'm always excited to do the unboxing so that I can finally have my Werther's Original. Now this box or this little envelope is $29.99 per month. I do have a great code for you though. It's it's Noel50, Noel50, and that will save you 50% on your first set. You get two lovely pieces of jewelry, and you get to tell them if you prefer gold, rose gold, or silver. You can kind of swap that out every once in a while if you need to. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what we've got. She always includes a lovely postcard image, like someone holding the sun here. And on the other side, she tells us about the inspiration for the set. So says the difference between feeling joy versus being happy that's the inspiration behind the set so then we have our mint tissue paper with our items inside let me pull those out it says when we returned from a recent family trip i was greeted by an elderly gentleman i know this sweet man has experienced consistent back pain so i asked him how his back has been doing he said some days it does well and others not so well i then asked him is today a good day or a bad day his response struck a chord with me with a warm smile he said well, every day is a good day. Moments, hours, days after that, the interaction just kept popping into my head. His words, his smile, in the face of not so great circumstances, he was unscathed, joyous, and grateful. It's crazy the impact that seven words can have. So, little interlude here. Let's look at our beautiful, kind of like, I'm gonna call those snowdrop earrings, and I do prefer gold, although I do like all of the jewelry tones. They almost look like opals or moonstones. They kind of have this glowy effect to them. I think those are really simple and really, really pretty. Let me read the rest of it to you. It says, we recently experienced some snow, not nearly as much as others have, but enough to be special in the eyes of this California grown girl who prior to our massive relocation had only seen snow when she drove to it. The kids loved it. Unfortunately, it didn't last very long and melted after a about a day but while it was here it was beautiful and as it melted it was beautiful and the melted snow flowing around our property was beautiful the cloudy effect in this month's pendant and earrings obviously is not by accident this set was designed to resemble the beauty of the unknown when it comes to what will happen to and around us on a day-to-day -day basis. When you wear this set, I hope you are reminded that while we may not always know what is coming our way or have all the answers surrounding it, we all have an opportunity to experience consistent joy in the face of any circumstances. So it just matches the earrings. I think it's actually the same size bead or pendant. So this is a little bit of a finer chain. So I feel like they've been moving to a slightly finer chain. Last month, I was really excited because they did a sort of different shorter length chain and it also had those little like uh, uh, little beads along the way so it was just a little bit more intricate of course we do have different lengths that you can go for but even at the shortest length which it is at now it's a little bit longer than I usually wear I usually wear my 
necklaces right at my clavicle unless they're really big in statement but I know that a lot of you like the longer chains but you also like the options so I have talked to Helena and she said that in the future they might be able to give us an option uh, or just vary it a little bit more often and sometimes give us longer uh, which I feel like most of the time like probably 75% of the time the pendant does come on a longer chain or maybe even just to make the pendants a little bit more interchangeable might be nice so the uh, earrings are just slightly smaller I just wanted to show you guys that and again it says this month's set is inspired by the freedom that comes when your happiness is not tied to circumstances and you have that positive attitude like that man that she was talking to whether or not his back was probably giving him a lot of pain he still chose to say that every day is a good day and I love that and I think we should all have that optimism and positivity as well so let's actually have that be our secret password for today it is going to be positivity so when you come across a secret password in one of my videos you want to enter it along with a uh along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. At the end of the month I go through, I use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you. You have to be 18 years or older, you have to have a US or Canadian mailing address, and just as a reminder it is not affiliated with YouTube, Instagram, or any of the boxes I open here on the channel. It's just something that we like to do here as a way to uh, encourage you to watch the videos all the way through, but also uh, as a way of saying thank you. Alright, our final box for today. Like I said you guys, my box got destroyed. Do you see this huge rip? It's like something punctured it. Luckily, there was some packing tape going across it. This is, of course, from the Oddball Club, which is the subscription box put together by a Ratbone Skinny. And what she does is a little mini e-zine. So we use a QR code to find out what we've got in here. She has the micro box, which is $15, and the medium box, which is $28. And I believe the shipping is still $7.50 on all the boxes. She does ship internationally, obviously, for a little bit more. And my code for this box is high noel and that will save you 10 percent it's always really whimsical we always get a playlist to go along with and it looks like the theme for january is all you need is love and i love that when boxes think about the upcoming month especially if they ship towards the end of the month so you can enjoy those items when they are meant to be enjoyed so everything looks like it is fine. I'm going to go ahead and scroll and see if I can find everything. It says, love is like a river, always changing, but always finding you again somewhere down the road. When we're young, our love is new and exciting. We live in the moment and we don't care if the feeling fades because there are thousands more to come. As time goes on, our love becomes deeper and tastes sweeter. We realize things won't always be perfect and it's the little moments that make us cherish the big ones even more. Love doesn't have to be a new relationship or your significant other of 30 years. Love is what Whatever gives you strength and keeps you going even when times get tough. If you found something that will keep you coming back for more, then your love is a blessing. Let's dive in and see what's inside of the box. So it tells us our micro and our medium and based on the first item that I showed you that box, I think that I got the medium box this time around. So thank you so much. Um, and I just love the positivity of all of these boxes that we are opening today. This is really a feel good video. So definitely goes with our secret word. So inside I have this little like, plastic container it says love me till my heart stops well that's a little bit morbid but um it looks like it's got like a snake going through it and I think it's just a little pencil holder so kind of almost like a tattoo art so I'm guessing this is the love me pencil holder but that's kind of a fun little receptacle that you could put anything in maybe even a little candy dish I'm gonna go pretty quick but there's a lot of stuff in this in this particular box looks like we have some little heart tongs you guys these are pretty darn cute so little hearts of course there's a lot of pink and red during the Valentine season which I don't really mind but you guys know I like non-traditional colored hearts so this is let's see I think this is what just says tongs mini heart tongs so let me see if I can pull these out but really cute if you uh, had to uh, bring some cupcakes or cookies or something to the office or to school to have these little tongs to get to use right so I'm just gonna put that into my little receptacle we have lots of kitchen items today because it looks like I also have this fun um, Let's see what we would call this. This is like a spatula. <laughs> it kind of looks funny with that round heart at the end, but I believe this is a heart cooking spoon is what we're gonna call that. So that will go down here. Then we've got some fun sunnies. So these are always kind of lovely. I used to wear these when I would go out at night and you don't want people looking at your eyes too closely. So it gives you that cool look, but these are kind of fun. So they actually, you actually wrote that they're heart sunnies on here too. So that's what I call them. And you know, we always try on our sunglasses. I don't think I can wear that 
cut for the rest of the video just because it's really giving me a rose-colored life, which uh, goes along with our theme for today as well. But those are fun. I actually will probably wear those. Now, we often get novelty socks from the Oddball Club, which totally makes sense. You guys know I am not a sock girl nor a pink cart girl, but I'll probably pass these on to someone who will definitely enjoy them. These say loving, but it's kind of interesting because they left the E in there. So a little bit of a misspelling there, but kind of still cute. So lovely socks. I think they're supposed to say lovely maybe, but they say loving with the E in there. Kind of funny, kind of funny. I don't mind. Looks like we got a cute little puffy heart uh, pen, of course. So these are always nice. There's a little cap there on the tip that I would have to take off, but we love a heart pen. This is a really cute little pin. We get really cool enamel pins from the Oddball Club. This one says, <laughs> it's okay, you can look at my butt. And it's like a sexy frog. It's very, it's a very weird and quirky pin, but that's kind of why I love it. And of course I love when it, we get stuff like this from the Oddball Club. Very, very strange, but also very, very cool. And I think you did get that in the, uh, in the medium or the micro box as well, but we're opening the medium box. So that was something I think you did get. It. Yes, you did. Uh, love getting some fortune cookies. And these ones, of course, are pink to go along with Valentine's Day. I don't usually go out for Valentine's Day. I usually make my husband make me grilled cheese and tomato soup. That is something that I feel like was in our mar marriage vows and I hold him to it, but maybe we'll enjoy some nice, um, fortune cookies after the fact. See, look how cute that looks. I've got my tongs. I've got my fortune cookies in there. What is this? This also looks like a weird frog creature. I have no idea. I'm going to have to open. Oh, it is like, <laughs> it is like a weird frog creature, except it had a little um, hole on the side, but I think it's a little craft that you can do. Um, it, it looks like a frog and it's got some googly eyes in there. And basically you're going to make a little Valentine's. So there's different like animals to make. So it says, uh, I think it might be... I don't know what it is exactly. I think that might be an extra, but it's a little like kind of neoprene, like a foamy kind of thing. Oh my goodness, you guys, we got a whole beret. Now this is cool. I wonder if this was in the micro box too. It was, wow, it's a lovely Paris beret. I used to wear berets. I, I told you I was a Francophile. Look, it's in red. So, okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. They did provide a little uh, cardboard disc in there to kind of keep give it its shape. Now berets, you guys don't always work on my head because I have a big head. So you need that inner circle to kind of fit. And this one I'm going to have to stretch a little bit bigger, but how cute. I think I can make it work, but probably not in time for this video because you need this like inner circle to be nice and stretchy. And then you got to really pull that on there so that it can stay jaunty on your head and not slide off like a pancake. Um, I am all about the dark chocolate chocolate Milano cookies. I used to enjoy these with my mom. It was like a treat that we would get at the store. We also got some classic Smarties love hearts. I love this. This is what I used to give. Like that was a big thing. If you got a box of candy from your grade school buddies, like instead of just the little perforated paper cards, like this is pretty huge. So that's kind of awesome. And then finally, we did get a rat bone skinny uh, card. Oh, I got a little magnet. I think that might have fallen out of my, out of my uh, other other guy. So it says, "Who makes my heart throb?" Voodoo. So got a little bit of a dark humor there with a little uh, voodoo doll. So hopefully you're not using any voodoo dolls on anybody, but. Definitely cute. I like the paper that they use. It's always really nice. It's just blank inside, so I might have to give that to my boo-boo uh, for Valentine's Day, along with, of course, uh, some of the treats I will share. Definitely the, um, the fortune cookies. But let me see if I can figure out what this is. So we got our look at my butt enamel pin, the beret, the lovely socks, the heart pen, the fortune cookie, the Smarties heart combos, gotta love those, the Valentine's Day card. Oh, so it's a DIY heart head magnet. So yes, that little magnet strip was definitely supposed to be in here. But let me go ahead and cut it open carefully. So it's a little craft. I do kind of think it's fun when we get a little DIY uh, item in here. So let me see if I can pull this out without losing too much of it. So you can see mine. So here's the heart, foamy heart part. And then I think it's gonna be a frog, like what I can tell. And then we do have some googly eyes that I have to uh, find. I found one of them, but you can see, oh yeah. Oh no, it's a hippo. So mine is a hippo, so it depends. You could have gotten a zebra, a lion, or a hippo. So I can make a little hippo magnet to put on the uh, 
on the fridge, which is cute, and I love that it's gray, and it's uh, in the shape of a heart, so that is an adorable little craft. I think this was a really, really fun box from the Oddball Club, and I love the little message that she sent to us in the beginning. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this mashup. I hope that you are enjoying the month of love, even though, yes, it involves a lot of pink, more pink than I can usually handle. I'm trying to get in the spirit of it and be positive and enjoy and remember that every day is a good day. I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.